Good morning, y'all. Good morning, Shaw. What's going on, y'all? I cut the grass yesterday with Penny. Hey, in the rain. It was raining. I mean, it wasn't pouring down, but it was muddy yesterday a little bit. And I'm saying she did good. Wait till you see my backyard. And look at these hostas, y'all. Hey, every day. I'm just amazed at how they turning out. That one is getting huge. Yep. They go to ducks. They all present and accounted for this morning. They doing good, but look at the yard, y'all. Hey, that junk is looking good. What up, babies? How y'all doing? yard is looking good. Penny is doing very good with her cut. Look at that. Looks good. And the duck's doing good too. Hey, right, let's get out here on this walk. Oh yeah, good morning y'all, how y'all doing today? Hey, creek sound like it's flowing good, ooh, rock a little slippery. Hey, and the stuff is already brown y'all, that was it. It's brown, it stopped growing that quick. It's gone, just like that. I was wondering why I hardly ever saw that stuff. What I'm saying is it only lasted for a couple weeks. What was that just running across? Oh, that's them fish again. Oh, wow, they move across the top like that when they need to get somewhere. It looked like something was running at me on top of the water. I guess when they get stuck somewhere and gotta go, hey, what's up? There it is. Hey, it rained last night. And yesterday, y'all. Hey, it's been raining. It's going to rain again today. Oh, yeah. But the creek is perfect today. Hey, that rain moved away quickly, and this is perfect. The creek sounds good. Oh, yeah. Hey, y'all. Your boy feeling pretty good. Did I tell y'all that? Feeling pretty good this morning. Ah. I think we need to get straight into asking y'all about y'all day, because yesterday... Your boy did a lot. Let me get to y'all. <laughs> hey, good morning, y'all. What did y'all do yesterday? They got y'all ready for the day, cause boy, it's gonna rain, but it already look, look. I ain't got on no jacket. Your boy feeling good. The weather is amazing right now. It don't matter what it's gonna look like later on today. This is what I needed. Right here. Some time alone with y'all in the perfect weather. I'm saying I don't think nobody else will be out here right now. Even though I did see some pretty daggone big dog prints out here. I'm hoping that dog is out here with somebody. Because <laughs> that boy looked like a small bear. <laughs> hey, but what I'm saying is, your boy right here, as long as he stay right there, we'll be okay. <laughs> hey, I don't know where he is, and I don't want to run into him. That boy was big. But I'm saying, tell me what y'all did. What got you ready for today? Hey, I've been seeing the comments, and I, th I appreciate it, y'all. And let me tell y'all something. Everybody who watched that GoPro video yesterday, I, look, I'm saying, I be making these videos and putting them out so far out. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I don't be knowing what's dropping when, but I said, I do know. I'm writing it down. I'm putting it on the calendar, but uh, I don't be reading that calendar. It's just so I know a date to start the next series of videos from. And I'm holding on to about 18 videos, y'all, if I haven't told y'all already. So... Now, let me tell you about that GoPro. I went ahead, I bought that a few weeks back. I told y'all, if you've been with me and you've been watching, you know when I got that GoPro. If you just tuning in, yeah, I got the GoPro yesterday. <laughs> no, I'm just joking, I'm just joking. Anyway, so about that GoPro, I got it at a real good deal. I told you about that yesterday. 
Well, the day before yesterday, I meant to tell you that I went ahead and bought a case for it, just like I'm using on this camera. So I'm gonna be moving from the GoPro 7 to the GoPro 9. And the reason I like that is because one day, if I really want to, I can switch straight over to 4K, yeah. So I'm going straight to the GoPro 9 with the same kind of harness. Actually, the harness that I'm getting is a little bit better than this harness, and I'll be showing that to y'all as well when I get it. The harness that I got this camera in, I wasn't doing reviews and stuff like this back then. I was just doing my once a week video. And, whoa, I thought that was one of my ducks up there. That boy solid white. I don't know what it is, and we're not gonna find out until next week because it's solid white and it's way up there. And that's the Sunday. <laughs> hey, so what I'm saying is, pretty soon I'll be able to go to the GoPro 9. So from the 7 to the 9, in this case, now the 7 is, or the 9 is a little bit bigger body, uh, body and the battery is bigger. But what I'm saying is that makes for everything being, uh, I guess, just better. I'd be able to do slow motion, which I'm not going to do. Basically, my GoPro 9 will, as soon as that stuff gets here, it will be tar turning into the camera that I use this for. It also has that horizon leveling. So if I do like this, you would never know. The video would always stay level. And that's one of the reasons why I like it, but I don't know if I'm gonna ever use that horizon leveling because I like for y'all to uh, <laughs> see what I see. When I see it, how I see it. It would be funny if I look down like this and the ground never moves or I don't know. It's crazy how it works. It's fun, but a lot of times it don't show you what I be wanting y'all to see when I show it. Oh, my bad, I slipped <laughs> and my pitch changed. All right, so what did I do yesterday? I told you about that, but I meant to tell you about that yesterday. So yesterday, oh uh, yeah, I got my um, Amazon FB, fulfilled by Amazon FBA account done yesterday. So now I'm 100% legit, y'all. Well, I was always 100% legit. I'm saying I can now sell on Amazon. So what we were doing all day yesterday was learning the process and what was needed to get our first thing sent off to Amazon. Still haven't managed to do that yet. So y'all stay tuned. I'll let y'all know what I do. But we stopped by the store yesterday, picked up some more things which is crazy, but another great deal. And we'll be trying to get that stuff up too, but everything seems like it has its own process. Let me tell y'all something. If you're interested in doing that, these are the things that they don't tell you. They decide, and I'm saying, I'm learning. So I'm just telling y'all as I learn, yes, we're watching other people's videos, but it seems like when a video gets outdated, the process somewhat changes and then it, it just makes things look more confusing to you. So when people, when you watch a video and they're like, click here and you're like, oh, this was back in 2017 when everybody was making money hand over fist. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just saying, sometimes the process has changed. The same thing with this with my belly mower on Penny. Like, and let me tell you about that because I used that yesterday too. See, that's what I'm saying. I got a lot to talk about and I don't be knowing if I have any time because I got a doctor's appointment today. Look, I already filling y'all in on what's coming up. <laughs> All right, so uh, that belly mower, I looked at the one from Tractor Time with Tim. Look, I love his videos. They're very helpful, but I can't watch as many as y'all think because I'm serious. Your boy's trying to crank out videos and it's hard to watch a video while you're cranking them out. Yeah, y'all should be tan. Pace yourself, y'all. I am pacing myself. I only know one pace, it's called full steam ahead. <laughs> so check this out. What I'm saying is, I'm going ahead and I'm moving forward. Look, what y'all don't understand is to do YouTube, 
you have to stay busy. You can't stay. Look, who would watch a YouTube video of me sitting on my couch watching a Tractor Time with Tim video? Because I would love to put up an hour of that. I would love it. <laughs> oh, yeah. If I could just sit around and do that. But I'm not doing it for the tractors, people. The tractor is part of my content. What I realize is I'm a person who likes to stay busy. And a person who likes to stay busy is a person who does pretty good on YouTube. It looks like. <laughs> Whoa. Ugh. If you can't tell, I would much other I would much rather stay active than watch others stay active. I'm saying, I don't know what your purpose is for watching my video, and I thank you for doing so. Let me get back to this penny in her belly mower. Y'all get me so far off subject. Would y'all stop interrupting me? <laughs> oh yeah. So anyway, that belly mower. Look, tractor time with Tim. He did a great how to adjust. And then I went out and looked at mine and I'm like, that ain't what mine look like. And everybody's even commenting to me. That ain't what yours looks like. Well, wait until y'all see what my video look like. I hope that younger boom, <laughs> because I adjusted mine right after I got the GoPro 9. That boy was not working fine, but I'm gonna tell y'all something. Let me tell you what's on my mind. Hey, ever since I bent it, no joke. I got it connected on the first time yesterday, y'all. What you think about that? Do y'all know how impressed, look, if you don't watch none of my Tractor Time With Me videos, go watch them. Me and Penny be getting down in the yard, down and dirty. And I be trying to catch it from all angles. So let me just tell you, what I'm saying is, when I'm out there in the yard, trying to get that belly mower connected, it never seems to go well. And people think I be doing that junk on purpose. Look, I don't. Who wants to get that frustrated every time they go to make a video? What I'm saying is, the reason my video started taking an hour was because I was trying to let people know that's how long it take. Your boy was out here playing, thinking he was gonna get something done. I was gonna start making these slick videos, connecting and disconnecting. I was gonna do what Transformers couldn't do for y'all. Show y'all the whole process, you know what I'm saying? That's what I was planning on doing. But things took a turn. Penny said, you're going to have to get to know me before you're just going to be putting me out there like that. I was like, dang, I wasn't planning on falling in love. <laughs> I was just planning on putting you out there and getting to the money. But boy, Penny made me learn. Hey, she's still making me learn. And I'm telling y'all the truth. Look. I'm starting to get it. Yesterday, a bent piece and all. What I'm saying is, I'm gonna feel like a real tractor owner when I can go out there and stuff be broke. What I'm saying is right now, I don't have the confidence that if something goes wrong on Penny, that I'm just gonna be able to fix it. I said right now, I don't have the confidence. That don't mean I can't do it, y'all. <laughs> I said I don't have the confidence. It's kind of like when you buy a new car. It's like, ooh, I don't want to touch it. Let's take that boy to the dealership. Because if I touch it, I'm going to scratch something. I'm going to break something. I'm going to forget to put a screw back in. What I'm saying is not with Penny. Nope. Oh, yeah, y'all know what I'm talking about. When your baby be brand new, oh, you treat it a whole different kind of way. What I'm saying is give me 10 years with it. Yeah, I know, I know. This conversation can be so familiar in so many different ways. Oh, yeah. I mean, nigga has so many different meanings. Come on now. Just rock with me, y'all. Please do not start nitpicking my words. <laughs> hey, I don't care. What I'm saying is, I shouldn't be doing this if I don't want people to do that. What? I'm telling you. Just wait till the day I get a heckler in my comment section. <laughs> hey, your boy started to feel like, what am I doing? <laughs> hey, good morning. Oh, man. What is this? Oh, how about it? Somebody needed water out here. No, I'm just joking. I can understand that. Ain't nobody gonna drink out this creek. You know why? Because it's trash all in it. Who would ever drink out of a creek? Just bring your water and then just throw it in the creek. Why not? <laughs> People. I don't understand them sometimes. And no, I'm not a tree hugger. No. 
Nope. I just happen to respect the outdoors. Kind of like it a little bit. Wait. That might make me a tree hugger. Dang on it. Why we got to put labels on everything? Just because a person like a tree, they got to be a tree hugger. Why we got to do stuff like that all the time? It's like we got to have everything in categories. It's like who shouldn't like trees? What I'm saying is we do know they give us oxygen. Do we just forget that? We do know they give us shade. I mean, heck, this junk kind of hold the soil together in some places. You do realize this, right? Look at this. Without these trees, this soil would just be loose. Man, these fish are really jumping through here right now. Oh, my eyes playing tricks on me. <laughs> I know, I know that's not what went with that. But that's what I wanted to go with it, so that's where I put it. It's like my mind has its own decorating style. When I put two things together, they go. I don't say nothing when I walk in y'all tacky houses with paint colors matching all over the place. Look, I got mud splatters on my walls. <laughs> hey, my wife gonna kill me. She's like, okay, now you're getting personal and telling our business. Okay, okay, it's my fault. <laughs> I just ain't got around to painting it. But I, what I realize is I got a lot of paint to do. Why well, paint each one? <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna paint this one. Nope. I didn't put a lot of things in my walls. But I'm so I feel like I'm always on the move. Yep. <laughs> Furniture. Just that. Ah. Hey, I should have seen when I brought that red couch that I got down in the downstairs. I got that boy stuck. Like literally. I couldn't get downstairs. I had to go and get help. <laughs> I felt like Lassie. <laughs> What? What? You got a red couch stuck in the basement? And no one could get through? Hey, <laughs> actually, Corey came out and helped me. Yeah, I tried to take a shortcut. <laughs> that junk ended badly. Very badly for me. Heck, still got to paint the walls. <laughs> yep. And then after that, once you see one ding, you're like, well, I got to paint here anyway. <laughs> Ding number two, I ain't as much worried about you. Hey man, that I know, know that that's true. <laughs> that's kind of how it is on cars too. You think about it, you get that new car, hey, I had a new truck back in 05. Ooh, got it for my birthday. Boy, seven months later. Hey, actually, <laughs> Within the first three months, I got into my first accident. Yeah, I say I got into my first accident. It was not meant for me to have that truck. No, it wasn't, but we made it through it. Yeah, no, it still wasn't. I ain't got it no more. Look at that. Hey, but back then I wasn't in the name of my baby, so that's probably what part of the problem was. I never gave her a name. <laughs> Hey, but I put that truck through some stuff. Anyway, first accident in that truck. Oh yeah, I was sitting in a Hooters parking lot. No, 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 I was not in the restaurant. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. And no, I was not doing anything wrong. Look, I wasn't married back then, y'all. <laughs> I do whatever I want. Hey, I'm married now and still. Uh, <laughs> hey, what I'm saying is, I went with my supervisor. Hey, actually, look, it was hurricane season. We was in Georgia, and uh, we was running from a hurricane. I think it might have been, I think it, oh. Nah, it was Hurricane Ivan. It was her, no, no. It was Hurricane Katrina. My bad, I ain't nothing funny about that. It was 05, so it had to be, yeah, 05. I think that's right. Hey, y'all let me know what hurricane that was because I was on the run. So we was up in Georgia, outside of Hooters, and this dude backing out the parking lot. Oh, my goodness. Big old pickup truck. Didn't even see me. Look, I had a little bitty old Chevy Colorado. That boy was fly. Anybody who's seen it know what it looked like. Yep, that boy was me. I might find a picture and throw it up if I can. Hey, so check this out. 
He backed right into me. And then when he backed into me, it's like he didn't know I was there. So he just hit the gas. I'm like, bruh, I'm behind you. He was backing out of parking spot. I mean, truck was so big when he hit me, he didn't even know he hit me. So then he just hit the gas and started lifting my truck up. I'm like, bruh, what are you doing? Are you trying to kill me? <laughs> hey, what I'm saying is that man had one too many drinks. <laughs> He was backing out the parking spots, y'all. <laughs> hey, he messed my truck up. I was not happy. That boy was brand new. I was like, are you serious? Then, like seven months later, hey. Uh, I get into a four-car pile up on 65. Same truck. Hey, I'm thinking this boy's totaled. It's total. There was no way that boy was supposed to survive that. And I'm going to be honest with y'all. It didn't survive it. But boy, the insurance company made sure that it did. Oh, hey, it was $17,000 worth of damage to a brand new truck. But guess what? Oh, uh, yeah, I made the first bad decision on a vehicle. Hey, we're going to have to talk about that one day. What I'm saying is there's too many people who be making too many bad choices on vehicles. Oh, my goodness. I traded in two vehicles for one. We'll talk about that some other day. Let me tell you about this truck. Ooh. Hey, $17,000 worth of damage to the truck. We ain't talking about me. I had to go one exit to the emergency room by ambulance. Yep. Maybe a little bit about my back be hurting all the time, right? Yeah, I get it. I get it. So, the insurance company take care of the truck, right? $16, $17,000 worth of damage. Truck only was worth like 20, 21. Anyway, I get the truck back, the bed all crooked on the truck. And then the seam, the weld that they put in to straighten out the bed, it was just ugly. I was like, look, we can't have that. They had to go and straighten out the back of the bed. And then instead of buying a whole new bed, I told him, I said, just rhino, rhino or like rhino line it and we'll be cool. Now that boy added a whole lot of weight to the back of my bed, which was good. And it made it so my bed was indestructible, which was good. But they had to go back and add like another $4,500 to the cost. So after you add that, they were over what it should have been to total it out. But since they spent so much money <laughs> before they realized it, they wasn't totaling that boy out. Hey, they ran, a, that, that truck got ran into the ground value-wise. That's why I say a vehicle is never a sound investment. One accident that's not your fault and all your money is gone down the drain. What I'm saying is, it was amazing that I had any value in that truck when I traded it in. It's only because that's how your boy negotiate. Oh my goodness. But I still had that truck today, even though it wouldn't have lasted this long. I know it wouldn't have. Oh, that boy was, hey, it was nothing but headaches. But I did a lot to it, though. And that's when I realized, hey, putting money into your car, always a bad thing. You put a system in your car, all you're doing is setting yourself up for stuff to rattle apart in the future. Hey, if you want your car to be an investment, let that boy ride like it is. And take care of it when it's supposed to keep up all maintenance. Hey, don't let me get started. Oh yeah, so check this out. Another thing I did yesterday. I had somebody come by the house to work for Stanley Steamer. That's a carpet cleaning company. Oh yeah. They coming out and guess what they gonna do? They gonna clean my duck work. How that sound? My duck work. <laughs> I got ducks and I got duck work. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, it's work that I do with ducks every day. No, anyway. They gonna clean them. They say they can get about 40 pounds of dirt out of your, so check this out. I told y'all a couple days ago, I had my, yes, I had my furnace looked at. I'm telling y'all, these are the things that you do. This is how I'm doing my spring. What I'm saying is I look down at my ducks. Hey, them boys filthy. So I convinced the guy, cause you know how I am. I convinced the guy that when they come back Thursday, cause yes, I'm having my duck work clean. I'm gonna have somebody walk me through the whole process and why it's necessary. Look, this sounds like free advertising for him, but a good video for me now, don't it? 
I got conv I got them to be to allow me to be the first stop of the day. I'm probably the only stop of the day, but they ain't gonna hear this part of the video. <laughs> it ain't gonna stick with me. But anyway, basically what I'm saying is, you know how your boy work. And if you don't, you're about to find out. Every time I get somebody in, it's a good time for me to do a video. And what I'm saying is, the more people I can get to understand the importance of these processes, because what I'm saying, most people don't know how expensive it is to be a homeowner. What I'm saying is, it's a difference. Think about this, people. From the homeless you can afford and the homeless you can buy. And you got to know the difference. Most people can buy anything. But the thing that you can't afford... Or the thing that you can afford is the thing that you can also afford the maintenance on if you can't do it yourself. I'm saying if you have to get a credit card to keep on buying something every time it, it goes wrong in your life. Or you have to keep, look, getting out of cars because it keeps falling apart. Ah, spiderwebs all over the place out here. That's what I didn't think about in here yet. And I got no jacket on, so I'm feeling each one of them on my arms. And if you know what your boy don't like... It's spiders. I'm, I'm, I can't move. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> hey, let me stop that. But hey, if I did have an attack like that, the video wouldn't make it out. Hey, what I'm saying is, yeah, spider webs make me. Uh, I can deal with them, but I don't like to. Hey, how your boy be, be out in the woods and don't like spider webs? It's like, man, I just don't like them in my beard. <laughs> Oh, yep. So yeah, so they're gonna come out and clean my ducks. Oh, that was like right in the mustache, and it was thick. That was a big spider web. Then you got to think about where spider web come from. Yeah, I know it come from a spider. I'm talking about where on the spider. That junk almost hit me in my mouth. <laughs> Daggone, so strong. <laughs> hey, your boy, a fool. I know, I know, I know. I know, I know, I know. This creek won't leave me long. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm back. We back. Hey, thank you for coming back. What I'm saying is, I ain't tell this water company who the heck is this. The simple truth. Oh my goodness. I didn't have this with me the whole video. You know what that must mean? It might not have all been simple, but it's all been the truth. Hey, how that happened? But what I'm saying is, the simple truth is, I found y'all out here in my diagonal trails, wasn't it? It was the trails, not the creek. But anyway, what I'm saying, somebody brought your water and it probably infected my water. So what I want you to do is cash at me, baby. Shaw the Barber. Yep. Look at my creek. That was the simple truth. Hey, that was perfect. Couldn't get no better than that. I was talking about my message, not this water bottle, not the timing. I'm talking about me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No mixed messages in what I be saying. I get straight to the truth. The simple truth. <laughs> hey, y'all know what? I like the one where I found the Dunlap tire out here. That was the best one. I could do the most jokes. Hey, I keep feeling like I hear stuff behind me. I don't like that, y'all. Man, trying to distract me from seeing my rock again. Hey, if this is your second time seeing this rock, say what's up. Second time in a day, not ever. People be so literal when I speak. <laughs> Actually, nobody does. Everybody be very nice when I, I... I appreciate all the nice comments and how people be telling me I'm like the greatest ever. Yep. Did I just forget my exit? Did I pass my exit? I did. But I'm having so much fun talking to y'all because I was just getting to the point where I was telling y'all about me. But did I ever get to? Yes, I did. Yes. Man, stop interrupt. Man, would you stop trying to get? We when, Every time we done, you want to get out here and start talking then. Where was you at when we was hiking? I was doing all the work. Bruh, chill out. You know I was right there with you. Yeah, because I had to carry you the whole time. Man, just chill. Oh, man. Hey, hey. Did I have that camera? Oh, man. See, you always be messing stuff up. Man, I still ain't turned it off because we only got two hands. Hey, oh, I went to play. I didn't play racquetball yesterday, y'all. Why are you just not telling them? See, that's what's wrong. I feel like I was left out. Bruh, I'm telling them now. Is that cool? 
Who? <laughs> What's so funny? Because every time I tell them I'm gonna tell them something, you just shut up. <laughs> All right, y'all, for real, for real, for real, for real. I be loving doing that. It feel like I could do it so easy. Like, is it true? Yes, it's true. But nah, I'll just play. Okay, so. <laughs> oh my goodness. Maybe it is. No. So I went to play racquetball yesterday. And I didn't. I just swam. Because I had so much stuff going on yesterday. I didn't get to the pool till 8 o'clock last night. I'm, uh, I'm like, oh my goodness. And y'all, yeah, my back was hurting so bad yesterday. I don't know what happened. But it don't feel bad today. That boy feel good. So we good. And I got to get back to the house. <laughs> It's getting dark out here. No, I'm just joking. Hey, yeah, your boy tripping today. I know, I know, I know. But let me get home because I got things I got to do. But I'm glad that y'all tuned in because I consider every last one of y'all to be my friend. And yeah, like I said, we bought the win. Hey, y'all, thank y'all. Everything's still going up. Much respect, much love, and I appreciate y'all. I'm behind the curtain and I'm still talking. Yeah, them boots is the ones I'm still using to be walking. Uh-huh, who behind me? I feel y'all starting to be stalking. Uh-huh, that's the end. Oh, your boy, he done talking. I'm out. Hey, did you think they believed us? What you mean? Of course they believed us. What kind of stuff is that? You don't think they thought it was two of us out here for real? Man, no, they can only see one set of feet. Why would they think it was two of us out here? Man, but I, I feel like I be talking like a whole different person. Well, you don't. You just be annoying the whole time. Why well, you got to call me annoying? Because that's what you be, bruh. You be annoying sometimes. I be trying to have a good, long conversation with people. Well, next time I'll just shut up and see how good your video is. Well, I wish you would. Because my video would then be good, as it should. I'm the one who be carrying this junk out here, not you. Well, let's see how good you are tomorrow without me then. Well, let's see. Oh, man. Did you turn on that dagger? You did that on purpose. Well, guess what? I ain't going to edit this footage in. Well, I'll do it myself. Bro, shut up. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm out. Where are my ducks at? What they doing up front? Why y'all ain't in the back? Girls, get back there. You stop that. Y'all get in that back. I don't back there. Get it back there. Come on. Y'all up in the front yard acting up. We can't, oh, you just ran over that little baby. Uh-huh, get on back there. Yep. I got things to do. Y'all can't be just walking wherever y'all want to go. Get back there. Hey, look at that yard, yeah? Hey, that boy looking good again. We getting them lines. And y hey, and y'all stay there. Y'all on punishment. Don't come out again. That's right. <laughs> Who talking? Who talking? Uh-huh. I ain't think so. Somebody quacking at me. <laughs> <laughs>